Chinese Taiman openly talks about the struggles he faces as an artist with Suga on such weed a time to drink with Suga. On this day, Taiman introduced his latest mini album, Guilty, and revealed his creative inspiration for his solo comeback in two years and five months, despite the excitement of returning. As a solo artist, Taiman also openly spoke about the struggles he faced. He shared, I thought through it a lot. The expectations of the public eye, and there must be things they're expecting from me. You already know, it's our mentality that we don't want to do something we've already done. It's sort of our calling to keep doing something new. Which was also my initial thought, but since it's been a while since I've made a comeback. Shall I say it's time and cliche, I wanted to capture the real me that people want to see. Taiman and Suga both delved deep into their fundamental desires of being artists, Suga shared. I think it's natural for an artist to have that ambition because then, you get better results. Taiman added, because the shelf life of a singer is short, especially as an idol, though nowadays it's gotten a lot longer, but I'm now at a time when it's not odd to stop at any given moment since he's in his 15th year as an artist, so. I need to prepare for that, but the desire to be loved never changes. Timing continued, if I don't want to let that love go, I do think I need to try out different things and meet the expectations of people and fans. I think I'm at that stage now. He explained, after debuting at 16, I had this goal of when I turned 20. The image of me in my 20s that I had in mind was I'm going to be the best. After these four years, I'm going to be the best, so I worked really hard. I practiced a lot and worked on improving myself. Then it was the end of the year right before turning 20, I saw myself at 20, and I was so lacking. So much more than I expected. He continued. So, I went to the practice room early morning on that day before going home. I bawled and screamed, and then I kept practicing. I practiced really hard, and just when it thought I hit my limit. The company gave me an opportunity to debut as a solo artist. Eric Nam releases a statement following the backlash he received for liking a post regarding the Israel-Palestine conflict. Eric Nam received heavy backlash after he was seen liking a post by Jordan C. Brown Underwood. The Instagram post expressed a stance on the Israel-Palestine conflict. The post read, It is absolutely reasonable and logical to be opposed to the Israeli government's treatment of Palestinians while simultaneously calling for the protection of Jews in Israel and around the world. He explained, My liking of that post was a reaction to waking up to devastating news. As someone who has always been pro-human, pro-peace, and for love and equality for all, Eric Nam further explained, My heart is broken for the Palestinian and Israeli families that have been ripped apart by violence and are facing unimaginable loss. Nothing I say can be enough when there is so much pain and suffering, but I am praying every day that there is peace and safety for everyone soon. Hi everyone following the horrific events of October 7th. I liked a post that I believed expressed a position of anti-violence, anti-hate and was against intolerance. My liking of that post was a reaction to waking up to devastating news as someone who has always been pro-human, pro-peace, and for love and equality for all. My liking of that post was a reaction to waking up to devastating news as someone who has always been pro-human, pro-peace, and for love and equality for all. After that, I received threats related to my scheduled show in Kuala Lumpur. Out of an abundance of caution for my team and my fans, I made the difficult decision to cancel the show. My heart is broken for the Palestinian and Israeli families that have been ripped apart by violence and are facing unimaginable loss. Nothing I say can be enough when there is so much pain and suffering, but I am praying every day that there is peace and safety for everyone soon. Fans express heartache after hearing TWIC's Gio say she had a hard time the past eight years.
and the relentless pursuit of their dreams. Many idols find themselves caught in a whirlwind of success, often at the cost of leaving a normal life in the fast-paced world of K-pop. Where ambition and dedication are the keys to reaching the pinnacle of one's career, it's not uncommon to hear idols leading an extremely busy schedule. This sentiment, while extreme, speaks to the immense sacrifices and dedication required to achieve greatness. TWICs Gio recently opened up to her fans during her fan meeting about the struggles she faced while living a life as a K-pop idol. One fan shared Gio's words on a popular online community. Instas and explained, she said she was really too busy and couldn't live like a normal person. It might sound so extreme to say it like that, but she said she never regrets that time. The fan added, that statement really hurts my heart. Twice would sometimes have eight releases in a single year, including Korean and Japanese albums. And they have to film music videos for them. They would film even 10 music videos throughout the whole year. They also had to do showcases, Asia tours, Rina tours. And they consistently released music throughout the year. She once said there were times she wanted to give up, and she would say that with a smile on her face. When I think of all of TWIC's hit songs, I know how hard Twice worked so it hurts my heart, and I'm so thankful that she doesn't regret that time. Other fans joined the community and commented, I feel like she would feel so many different emotions because the Twice we know today exists. Because of all their hard work, Gio. Of course it's probably tough for all idols, but when you think about TWIC's frequent, comeback schedule, it really would have been challenging for them. At least she was able to earn that much money for all her hard work I'm envious. I cried when I heard that at the fan meeting event. Because fans know how much they suffered but it's the first time. She said it personally herself like that. I heard JYP doesn't give the group much time to prepare for their comeback, lol. As soon as they have the song. They have to learn the choreography in one or two days, then they film the music video right away. Twice did have an extreme busy schedule. And I do feel like Twice didn't have any hiatus period.